Yesterday's hopeful announcement of a 90% effective vaccine from Pfizer, only the beginning of a much longer process to actually begin vaccinating the American public. We've been keeping him busy. We're talking about Dr. <laughs> yeah. Frank McGeorge. He is here with a look at uh, some of the challenges ahead, Frank. Yeah, Kim and Devin. So although the Pfizer vaccine isn't officially authorized for distribution, preparations are already underway across America to get it into people's arms. That's because this is a new type of vaccine that is much more complicated, requiring extra planning and thought. It's a massive logistical challenge. How to move hundreds of millions of doses of a COVID vaccine to Americans across the country. Pfizer's vaccine must be kept at 70 degrees below zero Celsius. While it waits to submit the vaccine for emergency FDA approval, the company is already setting up a deep cold storage supply chain using suitcase-sized cooling boxes to ship critical supplies to doctors and hospitals nationwide. Once they take it out of the ice, they can keep it five days in the normal fridge. So we have worked extensively to develop this distribution network. Pfizer says it will ship doses from its facilities in Michigan and Wisconsin. With each person needing two shots, the company expects to have enough for 25 million people worldwide this year. Now, a U.S. advisory panel has already laid out who could get priority in receiving a vaccine, starting with frontline doctors, nurses, first responders, and nursing home workers, then people of all ages with two or more risk factors. The next phase would include teachers, school staff, child care workers, and people working in the food supply chain. Phase three would include children and young adults 30 and younger. Phase four would include everyone else living in the U.S. Now keep in mind that the Pfizer vaccine is only one of potentially several that will hopefully become available in the future. Each one of them will have their own supply chain requirements, which is why the military is managing the vaccine distribution, a task that would ordinarily fall to the CDC. Back to you. Okay, Doc, we appreciate it. United States Supreme Court today heard a challenge to the Affordable Care Act, more commonly known as Obamacare. Opponents of the law say when it was passed, it was a tax law. But when Congress removed a tax penalty in 2017, they said the remaining law became unconstitutional. Chief Justice John Roberts and Trump appointee Brett Kavanaugh appeared in today's arguments to suggest the law could stay in place as is. Their votes, along with three liberal justices, would keep Obamacare as American law, a decision, though, not expected till next spring.